Marching to keep their jobs and their schools. They're against the proposed closure of 27 schools in the Western Cape. Teachers, pupils, parents and local ANC leaders handed a memorandum to Premier Helen Ziller's office. The Provincial Education Department is threatening to close the schools because of dwindling numbers, poor pass rates and dilapidated buildings. It's the teachers who are especially frustrated with the department's plans. Most of us are working in class, most of us are doing our part, we go for courses during holidays, we go for workshops and everything, and then they just come and say we don't do our work. We've got to see to their problems, we've got to counsel, we've got to, um, we've got to administer sports, we've got to administer curriculum, we've got to do so many other things, you know, and I think that is the, the pressure that as teachers we're under. The ANC is threatening to take legal action if the schools are forced to close. You can't close schools in, 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 in Hanover Park, in Bishop Labors, in Athlone, etc., etc. As well as not in Oatswood and Camden and so on. We must keep these schools open because it's affecting 4,500 learners as well as um, at least 200 um, teachers. The Western Cape Education Department held public hearings for the 27 affected schools last month. It's now up to the Education MEC Donald Grant to decide whether the schools will be closed. Percival Young, Cape Town.